Show me the money strategy for beating Solo Fallen. In this video, I'm going to be testing out fellow TDS YouTuber the money's strategy for defeating the Fallen King as a solo. This epic strat uses the hunter. I guess you could say I went hunting for the Fallen King. Please laugh. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to announce that this is officially my 100th video upload to YouTube. I can't believe how far I've come since I uploaded that first video back in May. Of course, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without the support of this amazing community. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you that watches my videos. And yes, I'm even talking to the people who aren't subbed. I see you. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled video. Who would have thought the hunter would actually be useful? This was a pretty fun strat for me to play because I literally have never used a tower. So I actually got to see how powerful it can be. As usual with these strats, it's the only tower with hidden detection, so you've got to make sure it's leveled up. But you guys are going to see it's not that bad. I mean, have you seen the range on this thing? With the DJ range boost, it covers basically the entire map. Before I get started, go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead. I bet you can't. I bet you can't do it. So yes, this is the money strat. I saw it on his channel. All praise be to the money, master of all money and currency everywhere. I'm going to put the link to his channel in the description. If you guys like TDS content, he is always posting challenge videos and stuff like that go drop him a sub and let him know how much you love cats the towers used in this strat are hunter farmer commander dj and ranger remember you have to use the dj nico skin for this strat to work <laughs> Let me ask you this real quick. Do you use the hunter? Why would anybody ever use the hunter tower? If I hadn't seen the money's vid, I never would have thought about using the hunter. It's just like a trash tower, right? I mean, I thought it was, but after this game, I don't know anymore. I think it might be better than the ranger. <laughs> Nah. If you guys have been following my Solo Fallen series, then you know how it goes. Every game's basically the same. Place some farms to get the money rolling in. Place the starting tower so you don't take too much damage. Place more farms. Upgrade the starting tower for hidden detection. Place rangers to help fight the giant boss at wave 21. Place and upgrade more starters and more rangers while upgrading farms. Chain call to arms. Put a DJ down at some point and match the rangers. Then span the starting tower until you hit your troop placement limit. Two things you always want to remember to do at wave 40 is sell your farms and change the targeting on half of your rangers from first to strongest. You have to do this so they start targeting the Fallen King as soon as he spawns. Otherwise, you won't do enough damage to kill him. Of course, I wrote up a strat for this so you can try it at home. The link for that will be in the description below. Now sit back, relax, and grab a cat, and I will pop back up throughout this video to tell you the important stuff. And I'm back. The first thing I want to tell you is that skipping is different for this strategy because of where the hunters are placed. Usually, you can skip at 39 seconds, but for this game, you're going to want to skip somewhere between 25 seconds and 10 seconds. It kind of depends on RNG. If you really want to be safe, just wait until about 10 seconds every time. Another thing that's weird is that you have to change the targeting on your first hunter from first to strongest as soon as you place it, and then change it back to first on wave six. The best thing to do here is read the strategy document because I tell you exactly what you need to do and when.
Three hunters, guys. I've only had to use three hunters so far, and the game's halfway over.
It is very important that you remember to change the targeting for at least half of your rangers from first to strongest now. You can also change it on some of your hunters too. If the fallen guardians are getting too close to the end, you can change the targeting back to first until they're dead. But the key to winning here is doing damage to the fallen king for as long as possible. Change the targeting on the rangers back to first when the fallen king is the only enemy left so your rangers don't start targeting the fallen guardians that spawn after him since they have 14,000 health. The money is the man. Thank you for showing us this awesome strat and saving Hunter from being the worst tower in the game. Go sub to the money. Show him the love. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead. Hit that subscribe button with your big toe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.